I thought I'd show you some things that I picked up um, Halloween shopping. Um, there was some stuff that I kept an eye on that I wanted um, before, but just had to wait till I got paid. So, let me show you the first thing I got. Um, I got the blah, blah, blah. I got these from the range, and I got these. These are little sugar skull LED lights. And I saw these up in the shop and they're quite they're quite nice and they're actually made of metal, which surprised me as well. These were $4.99. Yeah, I'm sure it was $4.99. And they are metal. Double sided and they've got the the little light in the middle. They're actually quite yeah, they're quite heavy. So let's put some batteries in and I'll show you what they look like. If I can open it, there we go. Just take some standard AA batteries. And turn it. Okay, I'm not. So I'm just trying to get the back. What have I done? There we go. Come on, dude. Oh, okay. Hmm. The battery cover's a bit of a pain. What it is, is the uh, little clips don't quite line up with the little gaps. There we go. So the little clip there didn't quite line up. So let's have a look what these look like on. Ooh, nice. Let me just uh, show you with my lamp off. And I like these, I like the same they make. And the metal. Uh, let's see if I can get my lamp back on. Come on. Oh, it's right. The button's on the floor. Um. So yeah. So these are cute. There are sixteen of them, and I've just got to decide where I'm going to hang them up. Obviously, these are all bunched up because they're. In the packaging box they will stretch out to be a string of them so how's that work let's have a look see if i can untangle it all done they always do this way they tie they tie the end around it's always a bit of a pain to come under there you go so they're like that So they're going to look cute. I'll probably put them on my back wall because I've now got what I call my gothic wall, which has got all my artwork on and anything like my spooky stuff that I make, um, as well as some of my pagan stuff. And it's all on my nice dark purpley wall. So I'll probably put these on that wall. And I have got a bank of lights on that back wall, actually. There's my lights, look. The box for changing the patterns just on the other side of this cupboard, but I've got the switch by my foot. So I've got the lights that run all around my room. Um, not that that's part of the Halloween haul, uh, but I'll probably add these to that wall. So these are my metal sugar skull. Um, fairy lights um led lights and then this i saw this candle holder and I've, i wanted it um last month but i needed to wait till i got paid look at that this guy is was 12 pound 99 
and he's made out of fairly heavy resin uh, oh, made in Plymouth Ooh, cool with something stuck to the bottom um, and it's this gargoyle candlestick holder it's got looks like it's hold on let me fix my light so it doesn't keep going bright it's got skull and crossbones at the bottom r.i.p it's on like a tombstone pedestal type thing it's made to look like it's made out of stone this is his face he's got two little gems in his eyes i like him because he looks really grumpy <laughs> Um, I love the texture on the wings that they've added, it looks really nice. And then these are the candle holders at the top. I'll see if I've got my candles still. Oh, let's not break it. Last year I managed to get some candles. Oh, there's only two in here. I've got one somewhere else. Black candles that that bleed when you basically what it is it's red wax on the inside and black on the outside so when you burn these candles the red wax drips down and they're called weeping candles i picked these up from the range last year actually i'll have to keep an eye out they're bound to have some more i haven't seen any yet are you gonna fit oh, no you're just a little bit too big but what i'll have to do is do what I did before, I'll just trim off the end. I've got the other one. One sec, find my others. Fun with this, but I've got more white ones which are more shaped just to give you an idea of what it's going to look like. Oi, it's all fall out. It looks like a sort of candlestick holder you'd have while you're walking around a spooky house or something looks cool let me see if i can find my other black candles okay see. so i don't know where i've put my black candles from last year um i might have used them up in which case i've only got two boo the, this is what it looks like with the white candles in okay so i've got back from shopping ignore the mess that's just my bag um and my ipad case out the way um, so, yes, what did I manage to get? Let me put my lighter. There we go. Um, right, so I showed you, obviously, my candlestick. And I'm waiting to get a third black candle for that. That's what I got from the range, as well as those little um, Day of the Dead fairy lights. So I've got some batteries, because I'm going to need them for the fairy lights, because to test them, I pinched the batteries out of my electric sharpener on my desk. Um, from Hobbycraft had got like their uh, craft section out um, so there's like the stuff like the, the crepe rolls there was um, these little like skulls with like fabric hanging from them to look like ghosts stickers um, like little kids craft kits like little wooden Halloween shapes that they could paint um what else i did get a picture of a couple of things so i could remember um they had oh they had i'll put the picture on the screen as well they had these skull drinking bottles which were like a purple colored bottle with like a skull shape at the bottom and then it tapers up to like a, a bottle shape um i really liked those but i've got nowhere for anything that big um they had these 
large bats where it was like fabric wings and then like a sort of shiny tinsel body these felt skeleton like cut out skeletons they had these little skeleton fairy clips so it's just a little clip um it's only a couple of quid and that i need to turn into like a um mummified fairy in a frame so i can put that with my spooky decor and i think it might just about fit in the frame i've got as well um, so I'll make the wings look more sort of tatty and torn and stuff and mummify their little skeletons. So that's going to be a craft project for Halloween. They had these um, build your own skeletons. So all the bits are in there. And if you look, if I can show you. Where's the one I spotted? It's See, it's all little like pegs and clips so it all clips together so I will build that up I'm going to turn them into something I haven't had a skeleton in my room for ages because the big one I had um, that I mummified fell apart and I haven't got around to putting it back together yet um, and I want to redo something on that anyway so I've been taking I've been taking off the stuff that I used to mummify it so I got me that he was he was a fiver so I think he yeah so fiver pound and then i've got these stickers for a pound these are so cute um i've seen these and i used to have um puffy stickers as a kid they used to have all the stickers used to be puffy and i saw that these were like um puffy as well so like they're not flat they're like they've got a bit of thickness to them and they're squishy so that's what these look like these are adorable and he is going on my phone or my iPad case. As soon as I seen him, I was like, "Yep, I'm having him on there, on there." So we've got all these little designs, and they're little puffy stickers, so they're nice and squishy. And they were only a quid. They were great. I had some as well where it was like a, um, a flatter design, like a standard sticker design as well. Okay, uh, my bat's just come. Um, I'm pleased. It's a back dish. It's by Nemesis now and it was on Amazon. I'm just going to take the sticker off. And this is it. Doesn't it look so happy? It's so cute. I love bats. I think bats are beautiful. That's his little face and it's got the detail of his fur down the back and the detail of his wings and that's a little dish i'll say a little dish it's quite big i didn't think it was that big and this was let's have a look how much he was amazon's just telling me they delivered it i know because it's in my hand Sixteen pound fifty nine was supposed to be seventeen ninety nine. It's so worth it. It's so cute. So yeah, that's my uh, my f main purchase for Halloween has been this guy and the few other things I've showed you in this video. And he's going to sit on my desk, and I'm probably going to keep probably keep my sweet stash in him. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.